Are you looking for a natural way to ease your anxiety? In today's video, I'm gonna share with you my top five supplements that can help. Let's check it out. What's up everybody, if you're new to this channel, my name is Justin and this is Anxious Ambition, where we give you the tools and tips you need to better control your anxiety. Before starting the career that I'm doing now, I was in the vitamin and supplement industry for about five years. My passion was always trying to find ways to help people you know, in a natural way instead of going straight to medications. You know, Disclaimer, I am not against medications, I take them myself, but I will say that I recommend you trying the natural ways first. You know, maybe it'll ease your symptoms without having to go the medication route. The first supplement I want to talk about is magnesium. In particular, Natural Vitalities, Calm, and these are going to be the gummies. I made a full video about this in the past, but just to give you, you know, a brief summary, magnesium is going to help put your body in a parasympathetic state. What that means is when we're anxious or in that fight or flight state, it's called a sympathetic. And if we're pretty much, you know, super anxious, we're on edge, our body's ready to fight, you know, or, or, or flight, you know. So when you take something like magnesium, it helps your body calm down and go to the opposite state, which is the parasympathetic state. When you're in this state, you feel more calm, relaxed, and your body's not, you feel like it's being threatened. So I like the gummies because, you know, I can keep them with me wherever I go. I have them in my gym bag, my work bag. I can keep them in the car, put them in a little baggie, and I have them pretty much wherever I am. Super convenient. If I'm feeling you know a little stressed, anxious, I just take you know, one or two of them, give it 10, 15 minutes, and I feel a little more calm. So it's definitely something I recommend trying. Also, about 75% of Americans are already deficient in magnesium. So there's no reason not to just give it a try and see if it helps. There's so many other benefits, you know, helps with your sleep, helps with your hormone balancing, helps with depression. Magnesium is super important. Another thing too is if you are anxious your body depletes magnesium even faster. So if you're deficient and you're anxious, it's just gonna get worse and worse and worse. So I definitely recommend start supplementing with a magnesium supplement. You know, another way to get your magnesium in is gonna be through a, a supplement like ZMA. So ZMA is zinc, magnesium, and vitamin B6. So I take this before bed pretty much every night. And what it does is it's gonna help replenish my body with the zinc and magnesium that I may be depleting through stress and the vitamin B6 in there actually helps convert the nutrients that I ate from the day, the magnesium, the amino acids, it helps convert that into neurotransmitters. Without B6, our body really can't produce the neurotransmitters or feel good feelings that we need from you know, serotonin, dopamine, GABA, norepinephrine, epinephrine. Without having B6, our mental health is gonna suffer greatly because like I said, without it, we really can't produce a lot of neurotransmitters that we need to feel good. So instead of going straight to a medication, trying adding in some B vitamins, even a vitamin B complex is another good one you can try. It's not on this list, but you can consider it like an honorable mention. Go get yourself a B complex. You could take that as well. But the reason why I like taking this is because it helps get a lot of the magnesium and zinc that I need for the day. And if you take it before bed, it's really gonna help put you to sleep. I mean, whenever I take this, I'm I'm asleep in about a half hour. I get a great restful night's sleep. One thing to consider too is if you're taking, if you're gonna take the magnesium gummies throughout the day, maybe you know go a little lower on the dose of the ZMA. Um, for me, if I know if I took you know two or three gummies throughout the day, instead of the recommended three capsules, I'll just take two, just because I don't want to overdo it. If you do overdo magnesium, you know you will get diarrhea. So <laughs> just another you know random bonus if you are constipated. Try taking magnesium and it can help with that. The next supplement I recommend trying is a probiotic. 90 to 95% of our body's serotonin is actually made in the gut. Recent studies have shown that by adding beneficial bacteria into your gut, we can reduce anxiety and stress in the body. So good bacteria is pretty much what a probiotic is. Our body is filled with good and bad bacteria, particularly in the gut. And if our body has a lot of bad bacteria. It makes it really hard for the body to make the neurotransmitters that we need to feel good and to perform how we should. Taking a probiotic supplement isn't necessarily the only way to get this good bacteria. You can also eat fermented foods like sauerkraut, kombucha, kimchi, and yogurt are also some other good options. If you don't like those foods or you just want something a little more convenient, a supplement like just any probiotic is really gonna work well. The next supplement I wanna talk about is 5-HTP. 
So I'm sure a lot of you have heard of the tryptophan. So tryptophan is what you get, you know, from Turkey. People say that's why you get, you know, tired after eating, you know, Thanksgiving dinners. So when you take in tryptophan, it eventually is going to turn into 5-HTP, which is this. And when you take 5-HTP, 5-HTP is going to turn into serotonin. So if you've ever been recommended to take an antidepressant for your anxiety, more than likely it was like an SSRI or a selective serotonin inhibitor, something like Prozac, Celexa, Lexapro, Zoloft, all those are SSRIs. So what those do is they act on your serotonin receptors and make sure that our body doesn't really get rid of it. So pretty much just gonna hoard it so that we always have it ready. So what 5-HCP is gonna do is it's gonna help produce more serotonin. So this is another thing you can take before bed because after it converts to serotonin, serotonin is used to make melatonin. So if you can you know, naturally produce more serotonin, we'll be able to sleep better and our anxiety levels are gonna go a lot lower. But this is definitely one thing you do not want to take if you were taking an antidepressant, like I mentioned before. By taking something like 5-HTP, your body's gonna pre-produce a lot of serotonin. And with the, the antidepressants are gonna make sure our body holds on to that. There is something called serotonin syndrome, which can be deadly. Again, I'm not saying this to scare you. I just want you to know that just by, you know, if you're already on a Prozac or a Zoloft, don't just take 5-HTP thinking it's gonna help it work better because you know, it can be dangerous. Not an antidepressant, you know, then it might be worth giving it a try. Also, if you combine this, you know, with the ZMA at night, you're gonna have a great night's sleep. Also, the B6 is needed to convert 5-HTP into serotonin. So if you're already taking like a ZMA or a vitamin B complex, you're getting the B6 your body needs to help produce that serotonin. The last supplement I recommend trying is GABA. Now, GABA is, you may have heard of GABA is an actual neurotransmitter but scientists have found a way to synthesize it with amino acids to make it, you know, you can actually take GABA now in supplement form. Now, if you've heard of medications like Xanax, Clonopin, uh, even Ambien, those all act on the GABA receptors. And again, I'm not against medication, but if you can avoid taking something like a benzodiazepine, try GABA first. Now, GABA is an inhibitory neurotransmitter. Basically what that means, it's gonna slow down and block certain nerve impulses, which, you know, if you have an anxiety attack, a panic attack, or you're just, you know, you're super anxious, you can't calm down, taking something like GABA is pretty much just gonna, I don't wanna say shut down your brain, but it's gonna slow you down so that you just don't have the ability to feel that anxious. And this is why those, you know, pills are so addictive because you take them and boom, you know, you're not anxious anymore but you're also super slowed down with those pills. Taking something like GABA, is a little, it's a little more subtle, and so you're not gonna have those negative side effects that are attached to you know, the benzos. So that was my top five supplements you know, that I like to use for my anxiety. But there's tons of different options out there. There's so many things that work for certain people. You know, in my journey, in my you know, working in the supplement stores and formulating supplements, I've tried probably a hundred different things. And certain things work a lot better for others than they do for me. So, you know, a lot of people talk about CBD oil. I didn't put that on my list because I've had mixed reviews for it. So I don't want to recommend something that I haven't personally used that hasn't worked for me. And before you try any of these supplements, please talk to your doctor. You know, yes, I know a lot about supplements and vitamins, but it doesn't, I'm not your doctor, I'm not a doctor. So please talk to them before you take anything. Cause like I said, some of these supplements do interact with antidepressants and other medications specifically do not take 5-HTP if you're on SSRI. And again, I'm not anti-medication. The reason why I made this supplement list is because I wanna give you options. I want you to try some natural solutions before you go down the route of medication. Because if you can find some ease in your stress and anxiety through taking something like magnesium or 5-HTP or even taking a probiotic, that's great. You can do it more naturally. So if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss the next one. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. Until next time, thanks for watching.